Hello there. In this video, we are going to learn about synonyms and antonyms. Knowing synonyms and antonyms can help you express yourself more clearly. The word synonym is made up of two Greek words, syn and onyms. Syn means same and onymia means a name. So a synonym is a word that has the same or almost the same meaning as another word. The word antonym also comes from Greek, anti meaning opposite and onym or onymia meaning a name. So an antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. For example, we have some synonyms here and some antonyms over here. Let's go over these words. Answer and its synonym is reply, large or enormous, success, victory, wonder and amazement. Each pair of these words means the same. Moving to the antonyms box, here we have words that mean the opposite of each other. For example, morning and its opposite is evening. Remember, forget, speaker, listener, yesterday, tomorrow. An important thing to understand is that synonyms or antonyms can be very similar, but they do not necessarily mean the same. Let's take the word happy and look at some of its synonyms. All these words convey the meaning of happy. At the same time, they have slightly different meanings. Similarly, the antonyms of happy also express slightly different meanings. The idea is to be able to use the word of right strength or power in the right context. For example, pleased is just one step up of being happy. Overjoyed is when someone is visibly happy. Then delighted is it's you know even happier. It expresses a lot more than the basic happy and thrilled is just intensely happy. So instead of using happy or very happy, you could use any of the other terms that describe the extent of happiness. Now over here, these different antonyms also express various levels of being unhappy. For example, sad is the basic unhappy. Upset is um, sadness mixed with disappointment. Then disturbed is when the person is visibly unhappy and miserable is just intensely unhappy. So instead of just using very unhappy or very sad, you could use any of these other terms. So let's answer this question. Childhood is a special time of life. Memories of our early years shape our lives and make us who we are. Which synonym below could replace the word childhood from the passage above? Age, past, latest, or youth? Think about it. You're right if you selected youth. Good job. Bye for now.